I'm Ed Trefsker with Robert Morris head coach Derek Schooley with some post-game analysis on the 2-1 overtime win by Denver over Boston University. And Derek, that first period really felt like it was all BU, but things started to change. Yeah, it was. Uh, BU had that first period. It was a one-sided game. I tweeted out uh, through Todd on USCHO uh, Twitter feed that it was one-sided. It, it was decidedly all BU. They were defending well. They were doing everything the right way. They got the shorthanded goal. The only thing they couldn't do is extend that lead. Uh, and Denver just held, held, held on and held on and stuck around. And next thing you know, they got that goal. And then once they got that goal, the game shifted. You could feel it in the second period. And then the third period was all Denver. And then you get to overtime, and maybe a bad change led to a great goal. Yeah, and that's where the, the interesting thing about the long change goes into play. That's why in three-on-three three in the regular season, you switch sides. Because of that long change, things happen. And it doesn't, at, 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 at the end, it looks like the, the other D's back, but it doesn't allow them to play a two-on-two two straight up. The D has to back off. It has to play kind of a two-on-one. The guy gets back in time to make it a two-on-two, but he doesn't get to hold his gap strong, gives up the shot, goes five-hole, Bros ends the game. Really a tale of two games. First half, strong BU. Second half, after the goal, strong Denver. Three straight 2-1 wins for Denver. How about that goaltending, too? Both ways. I mean, in the first half, unbelievable for Davis making some big saves. And then, what can you say about Karan? Had to uh, play four power plays, some wide open nets that he made some huge saves on. Goaltending was outstanding. That easily could have hit the over. And it could have been a 4-3, 5-4 game. And uh, the goaltending made it 2-1. Tough to give up a, a five-hole goal to the win, but um, really good hockey game. It wasn't as that physical of a game, but it was tight checking. Both teams came to defend and defend hard. Last question, killing off four penalties, does that weigh into the fatigue factor on a team in a game like this? Absolutely, because it's it's not just the fatigue. You know what it also is? It's the hard minutes. It's the minutes that you have to play mentally, too. Uh, it's mental fatigue as well as, you know, tough blocking shots, getting clears, and it's, it's stress. It's stress on your goalie, it's stress on your team. So, yeah, four penalties and especially having to kill uh, to end regulation in overtime, that does take uh, wear and tear and eventually, potentially could have been the downfall of BU. We'll have complete coverage after the game for BC and Michigan and get all your college hockey coverage at uscho.com.